Um, but you're right about the military. I was I was kind of taken aback by how um, you know how deep a level they're into it at, and sort of a very unpublic way. You know, I was yeah. uh, I just happened to be walking around the uh, the harbor, the Newport, Oregon boat basin one day, and this big landing craft comes steaming into the bay, pulls up to the public boat ramp drives up the bow ramp and spills out some ambulances and a bunch of people. And wow. I'm, just kind of, I'm just kind of going, what's going on? And so, oh, they're having an a earthquake and tsunami drill. And I'm going, no kidding, really? I'd never heard of this thing at all. And so it turns out there's this aircraft carrier sitting offshore, and they put this, these landing boats in, and just driven into Newport Harbor unannounced to have a, a little practice drill. It never made the newspapers, never showed up anywhere. It's, and it's just like, uh, oh, okay, that's really cool. What's up guys, it's Adam AK Marf, and this is Marfugal News. Just wanted to let you guys know that I am close to releasing the interview above me, and it is eye-opening. The man on the left may not be a household name, but he is incredibly famous in the science world. The reason why is he is the foremost expert on the Cascadia subduction zone. It is one of the biggest ticking time bombs of the entire North Americas. In fact, some say the only bigger risk than the Cascadia subduction zone is Yellowstone. As well, Yellowstone might go off in a million years. The Cascadia subduction zone goes off on average about every 240. Some say as high as 500 years. It is a guaranteed 9.0, like all subduction zones, and a guaranteed tsunami. It is the same kind of thing that happened in Japan. In fact, some say more powerful. And instead of Japan, where they are a 9 out of 10 on preparedness, all of their buildings up to code for an 8.4, we are a 0, not even a 1, on preparedness, according to him. I ask him everything, from what he thinks of Dutch sense, to what it will really be like when it happens. If it happens tomorrow, what situation will we be in? And what are we doing about it? So I hope you guys stay tuned, and I hope you guys watch. If you're not already subscribed, this would be a good time, because there's a lot of eye-opening material that's about to come out. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Be safe, be prepared, and Marf out.